We live in a, in a global world, a very small world indeed. And of course, we face a lot of tremendous challenges, which now we call the global challenges of our times. Uh, there's no single nation, no matter how powerful it is, that can actually address all these issues. There's no single person who can address them. It will take collective action. And the only way to do that is actually for us to band together. In order for us to collaborate, we have to understand each other, work across cultures, work across national boundaries, in order to be able to address some of these challenges, which is good for all of us. And that is why I think the students themselves, they need to be trained not just to become a scientist or an engineer, but to be a global thinker. So they should be thinking globally while they are working locally. When it gets to networking, I tell people, who do you want to spend your life with? And when you build a network that's focused on connection and friendships and seeing if there's value exchange, maybe there is business, but we're not going to jump to that. It gives you the opportunity to build this great global community. And then the bigger pieces with that networking, when we try to find jobs, we're limited to what we know about right now. I want to help people. Oh, doctor, lawyer, and just a couple other things. But by talking to this broad Penn State community from all over the world, you're going to learn about jobs and opportunities you didn't even know existed. So then you can be more targeted in the way you go about approaching those things.